Hello, 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 Flock Sam. How is everyone's Monday morning? Becca and I are struggle busting on a Monday morning. Um, I am Anna Lamb, and I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And my cohort over here, Becca Oaks, is an owner and craft educator here as well. Welcome. How? What is? What's everyone doing? What did everyone do this weekend? So we got mom. Megan's here and she's so excited. She's patiently waited since this was announced. She's very excited. Megan, Hot. you're really going to be excited because it's a dog themed one. Mm -hmm. Like we're, we're even going further. So it's very exciting. Yes. And Kat, Kat is here. Kat, I have a special surprise for you. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I said, I brought these especially for Kat. And Becca said, well, she's camping. So I don't know if she's going to be here or not. But look, I, this is what Fallon and I used at home um, to protect my surfaces. And I brought this. So for some reason, it's well, like the upgraded version of a uh, poster, board. poster board. But I feel like she's not going to hate that quite as much. It's actually gorgeous. Like, yeah, look at I'm the combo to, well, colors. Do what? I went to the overhead. Yeah. It, like, yeah. if I could peel that off and use it on something, it really is. Anyway, she thought of you, Kat. I did. I said, this is for Kat. Yeah. <laughs> but welcome, everyone. For those of you who did not read the title we're painting with a squeegee today you know what's a squeegee this a squeegee this yeah, is like you squeegee. would clean a window or shower with. so you can do your yeah your show i actually got this in the um like the shower aisle with your shower caddies and all that kind of stuff funny story i went to big lots cvs walgreens ingles and then because our walmart is kind of tricky to get to it's actually a pain in the hind end and so I was like, well, dang it, I'm going to have to go to Walmart. And sure enough, they did have one. But you could get them off of Amazon, too, if you're not wanting them right then like I did. Um, it was like three, four bucks. And they do come in different widths. I am going to encourage you um, that get a, a wider one if you're going to do a wider surface. But you can use pretty much any... Um, Yep. Like you could use a ruler, you can use a straight edge, anything that is a flat surface I've seen, you can it, scrape with. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to have this. It was, I, I just liked the functionality you, of it because yeah. it has a handle too. Yeah. Um, so if you have, like for larger ones, if you had like the quilters ruler, uh -huh. like the 24 or 30, whatever, 36, I guess it goes up too. That would be really good too. I've also seen uh, like those huge straight edges that have the metal edge to them that we like cut the wallpaper yeah. and stuff off with. Yeah. I've seen people use those too. So yeah. uh, you can be creative. You don't have to go out and buy one of these. You've probably got a school something, ruler yeah. or something at your house that you can use. So for Sapaz though, like you're just doing this on, on a canvas. Can yes. you think of anything else that you would do this particular method on? I'm putting you on the spot. I know. I should have thought about this. Uh, I, I can't think of I anything else really either. Think, uh -uh. I mean, because it is art. It is a painting right. thing. So, I mean, you can't really paint on. You wouldn't want to do it on your wall. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Especially once you see how, like, unpredictable this is. I mean, you could definitely do, like, a, if you're super artsy, you want to do, like, a side of a dresser or something if it was Ooh. a flat surface or, you know, something like that. But... Um, I would experiment a little bit before you decide to. Yeah. So we're using canvases. Um, we got some cheapo canvases. These are little tiny ones. From Five Below. If you guys did our Five Below haul with us, it came, I think it I've was. got some bigger ones five too. Five for, what did it say on it? Did you pay attention? Like four, eight, three eighty-eight or something? Five, eight by eight. eight. Three dollars and twenty-five cents. Three twenty-five for five eight by eights, and then Anna got some larger ones from, I guess, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, and they're actually they came two, um, two to a pack. This is a twelve by twenty-four for seven dollars. Like, what? Which are my, am I forward or overhead? Forward. So I mean, like this is big, and there's two of them in there, and then these right here came two for like five dollars as well. And these are Hobby Lobby. Okay. Um. So I mean, that's a really good price point. Um. I don't know. Have you? We started doing this. Have you told them about the nurse? No. Okay, so, um, yay, Mark and I have started the journey for fostering to adopt. And so we started doing a nursery, and we have done wallpaper. I'm sure, did you tell them about wallpaper? I told them about wallpaper, but I didn't tell them why I was doing it. It was terrible. But anyway, so I did this for um, some art in the nursery because 
All of you all know that I love super, super neutral palettes. I will post some pictures later of this nursery. It looks like Becca and Fallon designed the whole thing. I'm so proud of myself. There's color everywhere. Um, but anyway, so we don't really have like a theme. It's just color. But I do have, because I'm a dog fanatic, I have some dog accents and the... Um, Curtains actually are they not the cutest fabric They're adorable. ever? They're so it's adorable. It's like a cream background. It has like looks like Fallon would have drawn these colorful dogs all it's over. So it. cute. And I was like, this is perfect. So we're gonna do a couple dog themed things. Um, so do they want to do the the? Well, let's ones? show them what the project is okay. first because there's so no. These are actually Fallon did these, and she's five guys, five. So this is the first one that she did. And I'm gonna, I'll go overhead so they can see. Okay. We'll do picture in so you're still in there too. Okay. So um, she did this one on, on this first time I said, okay, Fallon, this is gonna put the, the paint on and I'll show you the process of that. I said, you pick the color and show me where you want the color to go. So I did it all and then we squeegeed it down. And like I said, I'll show you in just a second, all of that. Uh, but then I was like, you know what? This is hers. I'm gonna 100% let her do this. So the next one, she picked the color, squeezed it on there. She did the entire thing by herself. This is hers. And hers is better. Is it not gorgeous? <laughs> so cute. So what she ended up doing on one of them, she like put a dot down and then she went to put a dot next to it. Well, it kind of like trailed off over top of it. And she was like, well, I like that. So then she went back and started like doing cross sections on some of the other ones. No, no, Granger. Some of the other ones that she had done and it, I mean, it is gorgeous. I did um, add some purples and stuff in there later so that, um, you know, you can see the difference in that. So she, of course, loves purple. But, um, that, I mean, she did absolutely adorable. Now, I'm going to show you the very, very, very first one that I did and tell you some do's and don'ts because there were some, definitely. And I'll tell, talk about pressure and all that kind of stuff. So this was the first one that I did. Um, is that in frame or mm -hmm. is it? Yeah, it's blurry though, but there's nothing you can do about it. I'll fix it. Okay. So, um, oh, Kat, I know Fallon's is totally cuter. It's a hundred percent cuter. She did phenomenal on it. Um, so this is, this is the first one that I ever did. And let me scoot this out a little bit. Ugh. Push the cricket off the table. Um, you can take it off completely if you want to. We don't need it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so good. obviously I did long ways on this. The problem with that is that your squeegee will only go down one time, which isn't a huge problem. You just have to make sure that you're not overlapping too much. But let me tell you. So with Fallon's, how it has these... Um, white spots up at the top. Mine did as well. And I decided I didn't love it. So I went back and took the squeegee the opposite way. And then it started making a mess. So don't well, no, no, no. overdo Let, these. Let's preface by saying a lot of people would look at this and say it's absolutely beautiful because it is, but it's not what you wanted. Correct. It's not what I wanted. Yes. Uh, but let me say this. If you start going over it and over it and over it, it starts looking like a complete muddy mess. So if you will take a, a heat gun or let it dry a little bit, you can actually dab more colors over top of it and it refreshes and brings brighter stuff to it. Um, and so then I just started smearing. This right here was a lot of pressure. The firmer your pressure, the more it starts smearing together. And um, these with Fallon were really super, super light pressure, so they didn't squish the colors so together. So they're less blended, yeah. Yes. So it, Fallon's is, is gorgeous. Are, um, it is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's, uh, it's amazing. Are you doing something with that? Well, she wants this one at her home. I was going to put them in the nursery, and then she said she wanted this one at home. Okay. So, um, oh, I was hoping I could. Yeah, because you're going to want to put it over your bed, aren't you? Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. they're not really my bedroom colors. Well, anyway, she can make one because they're co totally customizable. You could do just different shades of blue or, you know, whatever. Uh, so cute. Do it that way. Now, I will say with this one, I also put my thing down because I was frustrated and it made a mark on it. So then I just went back and made a couple to make it look intentional. So 
play around with these for sure. Um, I should have brought the one that I absolutely ruined the first time. That's the one that started looking brown and you muddy. You should have. They love to see our fails. I, it was definitely a fail. It may still be in my trash can somewhere. I'll have to upload a picture later. Uh, but anyway, so do you all want to do the traditional kind um, like Fallon has done first? Or do you want to do one with um, a... We're going to use a stencil so that yes. there's a void. So, so we've that's got fine. a puppy dog nose a stencil and then we've got puppy prints so we're going to show the difference like one this one's going to have color all around it and this is going to be white and then this these are going to be colored and then all around it's going to be white and then you're going to do one that's just all paint yes 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 so does anyone have a preference yeah whoever answers first gets their wish i always yes. love this let's see i don't think my comments are updating um, no, they're updating. They're just not, there's only 50 watching this one. Okay, morning. okay. Yeah. So it's just not much. It's not, yeah. Gotcha. Um, has anyone said anything? Not yet, not yet. Okay. It's like a drum roll. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a good one, Anna. Yeah, I know. Paw. Clarita wants the paw. Paw. Paw print. Yep. Okay. Let me clear this out. Now, Becca did inform me that this, is not fantastic vinyl. And I am gonna tell you all, I have not done this yet at all. Um, so we're gonna burnish. Where did it go? Well, once you get it on the canvas. Yes. So, um, and to try to create a good seal where your edges are. Yeah, this is paper mate vinyl, which is okay vinyl, but it doesn't stick as well as Starcraft. Um, but when you're making a stencil, you want it to be Vinyl you don't really care about. So I'm also going to tell you I had gotten some transfer paper, but I'm not going to waste that because it is just one piece, and this doesn't have to be like. Do you want me to use transfer? I would just because. Okay, well. Uh, just because. Becca, you don't. Becca says use it. Have to. Becca says use it, guys. I just think the the thinner pieces might be easier if it has transfer tape on it, like so that they won't okay. fold as much. Kat said, stop it. I have so many things to do this week and you're going to make me want to do this now. Good thing I don't have all the paint I would want. Well, now, Kat, I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> you can use acrylic. You can use wall paint, um, like the colored little sample wall paints. You don't absolutely have to use just one thing. But you've probably got plenty around your craft room if, I'm, if I know you like I know you <laughs> to do this. The other thing is, Kat, like, it, this is a no... Like, it takes no time at all. Yeah. Like, once you get it on there, like, the prep work is is the thing. Um, okay. Let me cut this extra off. <clears throat> so, while she's transferring this over, now is a good time for me to plug our membership. <laughs> so, if you... We had a couple people join this weekend when we weren't even live. So, that was super exciting. Generally, we only have people join when we're alive. Um, but it, we had some join this weekend, which was really exciting. And if you want to join the membership here, we still have, um, last week we offered a $35 off our annual membership. And so I'm offering that again this week. So if you want $35 off the annual membership, which makes it like, I don't know, 165-ish dollars for an entire year of crafting with us, then go ahead and click that link and join the membership. That gets you access to our live Library of cut files with free commercial use license. It gives you access to our upcoming courses that will be coming out, gives you access to our um, private Facebook group where we have an amazing community of crafters who are so uplifting and supportive and helpful. And um, it also gives you access to our member only content. So grab that link. If you like Oak and Lamb, if you like crafting with us, if you're just finding us and missed us so much, go ahead and join um so we can craft together yes anyway yes okay so i've just got this on there and i am going to place it as straight as i can yes megan said less than a thousand subscribers for youtube to get to ten thousand. we did hit the nine thousand mark this weekend and we're super pumped about yes. that yes thanks for noticing megan we're hoping to be there by our first birthday is that our goal yes yeah which is october 18th and it's totally attainable we have roughly eight weeks yeah so she's braying this on because I was afraid that it would not be 
super, super sticky and the paint might get underneath it I'm or something like that. I'm also going to say with this, um, I would do the less pressure method on oh, this so yeah, that yeah. you're not squeezing it down. But I'm going to show you, you really don't need a lot of pressure. Not much. At all. Um, okay, I feel like that's probably, probably good, sufficient. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. No, it's fine. You just, there you go. It's sticking to everything. Oh, it is. I'm going to go back and do it Ray again. Spray it again. Yeah, yeah that's good. awful. Good idea, you know. Yep, yep. I think this is a great idea to do with my kids. I'm super excited to try this. Teresa said, yes, I think it's a fantastic kid this idea. This is terrible. So, Anna, um, I probably should have told you, you maybe should have put that on your shirt beforehand to kind of get some of the stick off of it, but it's okay. It'll be okay. You got it. Russ, you are welcome. Uh, what? I sent him a nice glittery surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make one of those cards that, like you open it and it explodes glitter everywhere, but I thought that might be crossing the line. <laughs> um, also with this, if you can see, we didn't make this any larger than the five, and five by five. And so there's a little bit on the edges. Just try to avoid getting paint all the way over there so that when you pull it down, this is still a clean line. I would say I'll probably end up going back if I'm going to use these in the nursery and um, put some bigger. kind of frame around it or something. Do what? You might want them bigger too. Well, it depends on where I'm putting them. them. Yeah. Um, I don't have tons of wall space. Savannah, no, it is not good vinyl. It is. Um, it's crap vinyl, actually. Yeah. It is some vinyl that Anna got for present decorating something we just needed the oh, color yeah, we paper vinyl yeah. it's yeah it's from christmas time it's, it's definitely crap okay so we're Ooh, gonna say, yeah tape those edges that's a good idea too oh yeah painter's tape it's in the second to the left yep good idea great idea nanette thank you this is why i love having crafty friends that, oh, honestly that's why i love crafting live with them too because they are super helpful well, a lot of them have been crafting even longer than we have. Well, so. and when you're live, you don't think about troubleshooting quite as much as you would if you could not talk for a minute, a minute, a minute, and think about it. I do not troubleshoot well at all if I'm talking or if there's talking around me. No, in fact, she needs complete silence. Complete silence. I get overwhelmed a little easily and have some anxiety issues and... Uh, Becca understands that. Penny said they get thousands of dollars in galleries for abstract art. Just saying. I know. Fallon, Fallon can Fallon's make. Fallon's got her like a. Fallon can make a college killing. fund right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. It's already bubbling up though. Well. Okay. It's going to be okay, guys. Okay, yeah, so, so these are just the Masters Touch acrylic paints. And honestly, we don't even care. Like, Julie, we needed acrylic paint when we opened the studio, and we wanted a ton of colors. Julie's like, I have this whole sample pack, and it had probably like 40 or 50 acrylics. I was like, bring it, we'll use it. So uh, this is a fine brand. It's yeah. not like we prefer one over the other. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you all, when you go to drag this, if you start them just like randomly in these, there's not going to be anything above that. So like if you were to put your first dot right in this area, when you pull down, that's going to be completely vacant. So you're going to, on these sorts of, uh, like if you're doing a print on them, start it a little bit above. That's smart. Where that's going to be. Now, there's no rhyme or reason for this. <clears throat> and so just pick your color and start dotting. Okay. So wait, let's, well, you know, you can go ahead. So are you using all the colors that are on the table? Um, it did probably so what would you do probably pick like four or five dots and just do four or five dots in all of them and then go back and fill in so that you can make sure you get an even amount or what are you doing yes so typically okay. i'll start small and and like on the larger you can do way 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 more dots and you can put dots right next to each other um because it, like it you'll you'll see once you play around with it a little bit that you there's no no wrong way to do this, but you can always go back in and add more. Okay. Uh, but on a small area, obviously you're a little limited. Maria said, wait, is Anna having a baby? I heard nursery. Anna announced she is, she and Mark are fostering to adopt. So they've started that process. Um, and are, we're all really excited about it. 
We have no idea when it's going to happen or when the home study will be done. Yeah, I mean, they have to do the, the path training classes and the home study process, which I think, if I remember correctly, because I've done the path training classes, um, it's eight weeks of classes, and then the home study is just depending on how backed up they are. So I would say around Christmas time would be when it's all I finished for you. I think that's kind of what I yeah. had in my head as well. And oh, and oh, yes, Micah, oh, and another oh, and oh kid. Yes. Yeah. A little lamby. Friends are saying, but I'm the little lamby. She's the little lamby. I took a picture of her in the crib this weekend. And when I sit in the, um, well, this one's not been used to it. When I sit in the rocking chair in the crib and like I do my thought process in there, like as far as the decor, I'll just stare. And uh, she'll come in and just jump in my lap in the rocking chair. I think she's a little upset that it's not for her. I did get a book this weekend called, what was it, Becca? I got one for you all, too. Something about Snuggle Puppy. Mm -hmm. And um, Did you read it to Granger? I did read it to her because in it, it has this, like, it has this thing where it goes, oh, Snuggle Puppy, I love you. And it's, I'm, like, pretty much I'm crazy about you, all this kind of stuff. And so, like, every other page, you sing the song. And oh. you know how Granger likes to sing. And so she's, like, going at it. And then at the end of it, she was done. So I didn't even. Get, I had to follow her into the living room to finish the book. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> Mom, your reading skills suck. <laughs> I think she just didn't like the song. Kat said, "I'm so giddy. Anna's gonna make an awesome mom. And don't forget about filing time, though. I know you won't." <laughs> um, no, we actually. This is hysterical. I started asking Fallon how she felt about um, me having a baby or getting a baby, and she was not happy. Actually. And uh, I said, "What? What's wrong?" And and she said, "Well, I'm I'm the baby." And I said, "Well, you'll still be my baby." And I said, "We'll still have Sis and uh, um, uh, Fal and Tom." And um, so I said, "You know what? Even if I have a girl, I'll just dump that on her daddy or her aunt, and so her aunt can have niece Aunt Tom, um, <clears throat> and we'll still have our our Toms." But what it boils well, down to was she was afraid she wasn't going to have a bed in a bedroom at my house anymore because she had her own and so I actually took my craft room I know all of y'all are going to die and sacrificed my whole craft room and um put a tufted day bed in there and I've I've decorated it it looks really good it pretty, works out really well pretty cute it matches everything Mark can come sit on the day bed while you crown she's got like a macrame um Lamp shade. Lamp, lamp thing. And there's a big picture of them that I ordered to go over the bed. And so she, it's, it's totally fine. But when she walked in the house for Becca to help with the um, wallpaper, wallpaper she, I said, Fallon, you want to come see your new room? And she freaked out. And because it's a, a day bed with a trundle, that's where like Beckett's bed is. He doesn't like to come to stay a lot because he's a homebody. And so um, she's, I was like, look, it's magic. And so when mom got there, she, she was like, Nana, come look at my new room. So she was super excited about that. But Jenny said, Snuggle Puppy's the best kids book ever. I buy it for every baby shower I go to. I love that someone else knows what I've Snuggle never heard Puppy of it. Did you bring is? me my copy? Because I want to read it now. No, I, it's sitting on the, oh, I think it's sitting on my kitchen table. It is so cute. I love, my favorite kid book is. Um, cutie, I pray. Oh my gosh, it's the best I, book I ever. I ordered it. Well, yet. no, well, don't because I'm going to order it for you. Okay. Um, uh, it's it's one of the best books ever. If you all haven't, it's on Amazon. Actually, let me get it for you. I'll get you the link. Um, hands down, my favorite. If you are a Jesus loving person at all, then your kid needs this book. Um, my dad and I built some bookshelves for the nursery this weekend and I of course needed to hang them and um, get them decorated cute so I had asked Beck and Julie both for their top favorite baby books and and I've got a couple of them on an Amazon list that I'm, I'll end up ordering but um, I end up going to Ollie's and getting a few and that's where I found the um, snuggle puppy I've never read it before. Always got some great, great books and great prices, though. Yeah, no, they're really great. Um, Good Night Moon is what Micah says she loves. Okay, there's some. I think I got Good Night Moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a popular one. It's a good one. Um, 
What's the one I told you? I can't remember the title of it. It's the one that has Barley Bear in it about adoption. I love, mm. oh, it makes me cry. I like horrible, ugly cry every time I read it to my kids. I, I have had thoughts though, and those of you that have fostered also and adopted and all that kind of stuff, you can weigh in. I, I thought, you know, eventually once we are official adopted, all that kind of stuff, that's great. But I didn't want to do any like adoption stuff and t like if I'm, they're just foster kids. Like I thought no, that, that I would not. be awkward. I would not. So I'm not going to get any until um, oh, for sure don't we have a forever, a forever baby. You would not want to confuse them. No. Okay. This is Where about... did you get the books? Ollie's. Ollie's, not Aldi's. Yeah, yeah Ollie's. Yes, Ollie's. Ollie's with an O. O-L-L. -L. Got to run to a physical therapy appointment. I'll have to catch three places. See you, Stacey. Have a fantastic yes. therapy appointment. Okay. Jen um, has to do a Zoom call. Uh, let's see here. About done with this. You've pretty much painted the whole thing. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Okay. So we're going to say that this is done. Take your squeegee. Go ahead and get some paper towels because you will need to get the excess off of your squeegee because it is a little... Little Nancy. And I am going to say um, the bigger ones, like the more paint you put on there, uh, I, I let mine set for about two days before. It dried. So that I didn't touch it. It was out of the way. But okay, so super, super, super light. One fell swoop. You get one chance at this, guys. One chance. So make chance. sure it's completely flat before you start yes. dragging it. Flat and drag. Now I still have some white spaces. Oh my God, look how cute that is. It's though. cute. So I'll probably go back and maybe paint in. Let me just use, use the stuff that's on the squeegee and I'm just get a to little. I'm going to get a paintbrush. Yeah. We're going to see how this goes, guys. Dana, where are you? Because Penny's not heard of it. So I'm wondering if Ollie's is like a southern, like I don't know where all Ollie's is. Okay. Clarita says she has one too. And Ollie's. So are you using a color that's around there or just a totally different no, color? No, because where I'm not washing my, my paintbrush, it's blending, blending together okay. anyway. So where is Rachel? I'm going, I'm doing welcome mats today and need to <laughs> ask her what to put the paint on with. Oh, Rach took Charlie to a doctor's appointment today. She's in Knoxville. We were going to do Anna's live. I think it was scheduled at 1 originally. And then Anna had a big opening in her day. So we just moved it to 1030. Ollie's is in Pennsylvania. Okay. There's lots of lots of friends who know what Ollie's is. Okay. So I feel like you're not going to actually be able to tell that mm -hmm. I've really done that. No, you won't. Okay. So Rachel's rule. I'll, let me go ahead and get this so I don't get it all over myself. So all I'm going to do is take, I mean, like if you have a sink decently close by look at all, look at all that paint though you can um just go run it under there instead of using a paper towel but just to pretty much get it all clean and then i'll go back and do another swipe before we start the next one that's pretty pretty much it yeah okay so now you get to do the fun part oh it makes me nervous <laughs> Okay, take this off. Jenny says Ollie's has 449 locations in 29 states. Wow. No, Beth, you didn't miss it. Look, watch the reveal. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so cute. If I can get and it. Beth, I can totally see you doing this because it seems like your style. I, I fully expect to see some canvases done like this in your house. Not to put you on the spot. If you hate it, don't do it. But I don't think you're going to hate it. Oh, she's a, she's a color she lover. She loves color. Okay. Do you want me to hold the mat for you while you pull it up? Yeah. Not the mat, the canvas. I'm good. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Guys. Is that not adorable? Oh, that's so stinking cute. <gasps> I am actually blown away right now. Just, yeah. Oh, that's so it's cute. It's adorable. Okay, so the the uh, really tiny pressure worked. And then obviously where I had those whites. Oh. Oh, I was afraid you would do that. 
Okay, let me think. Wipe it off and then paint it white. I'm gonna do that. Oh, here. Oh, I'm sad. I know, that's really They're gonna sad. see me break down in a second. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint it white, it's gonna be fun. And you've got some up here too. Okay, okay. Well, I'll put a frame around that. Oh, that's true, that's true. I'm really, I'm gonna have a come apart, guys. It's so cute. It's so cute. Maybe, maybe Becca can stamp some white on while we're. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Ugh, I'm so sad. So um, don't do that. Yeah, she just got some on her tape, and it's it gonna be okay. Folded back over. It's okay. Okay. So Becca's gonna fix that. But look how cute. But look how cute it is. We're just gonna pretend that's not there. Oh, so cute. Put it right Absolutely here. Absolutely adorable. Thank you so much. No because problem. Because I love it. So much. Oh gosh, it's everywhere. Yeah, well, okay, that's what I'm gonna tell you guys. It is a messy process. It Can is, you put a paper towel right here? Towel? Yeah. Oh, it's there so you go. Do we cute. have white acrylic? We do. Where is it? I'll get it, you okay. just craft. Okay, so then we're going to go and do the nose print, and I think that I'm actually gonna fold that over where that's wet. We're gonna do that one. And I don't think that I'm going to use that uh, transfer paper like Becca told me to on that one because this one's just one big one. I wouldn't on the big one. Oh, okay. Watch this will come back to bite me in the hind end. Okay. Do we want to do straight on or do we want our puppy nose to be off like crooked? Straight on? I had it straight on, but I don't know. I'll be straight on. This will take a couple coats to cover this, okay. but I think it'll be fun. Yeah, you're not going to see that. Okay, good. Uh, and let me see this. That looks pretty decent. Okay, same exact concept. I'm going to try to actually use the same colors I had in that since I'm going to do a grouping with that. Um, but I'm telling you, like, if you could get into some, like, nursery decor and that kind of stuff, because you know how people will get on Etsy to get stuff for. Custom stuff, like, yeah. you could do, it's limitless with their color palette. You say, send me a picture of your quilt for your bed and then just recreate it. Let's see, nice trash bags. Thank you, Rachel. I actually made those for Kat, if you didn't um, catch that earlier. Nice trash bag. I hate you. <laughs> Is anyone on here a painter? Like, does anyone do this kind of stuff a lot? Anyone, anyone? Becca's actually a pretty terrible painter. Um, is Rachel good at painting? Uh, uh, I don't actually have an answer. I'm going back to look at comments that I've missed. Okay, whatever they say. Kat says, holy cow, Anna, first time I'm in love with that. You need to make one and send it to me. Secondly, I'm <gasps> so excited there was not a craft fail. Well, for the most part. I'll, we'll send you the crappy one, Kat. No, oh, the, the big one that I did? <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, then it says I would have let it dry a little first. So I never, for whatever reason, I never do. Um, well, Rachel says not to because when you go to peel your stuff up, if there's excess, it will actually peel some of the paint yeah. off. If it's part of it's drying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, use a little alcohol to get it off first and then paint white. Maybe. Yeah. That would have been a good idea. Oh, well. <laughs> what Rachel said I am a good painter I don't know why Becca paused so long <laughs> uh, I've done this uh, as a teacher on paper but not with a squeegee what did what did you use before uh, Kat says thanks gee thanks <laughs> ask Kat if Ask Kat that I'll give her one of these if she gives me one of those puppies. Oh, Kat. 
I actually don't want a puppy cat. I mean, I've got a well-trained one that, I mean, you know, she doesn't really love people, but um, I, I can't do a puppy and a baby. Where'd she go? I know my limitations. Where is she? Granger. Oh, she's in a bed. She never lays in that bed. No, she's tired. She had a big day at the farm yesterday. I think this is going to take like four coats. That's okay. You're, we're going to make it beautiful because I've got to have it. Yeah, we are, Anna. Four coats? Maybe five or six. I really okay, don't know. Okay, We'll make it work, Becca. I am going to show you on some of these big ones. Um, you can do designs in them. So that's that'll be the difference in these and, and those. And I'll show you, like, kind of how it... It, it, it kind of still looks like, like if you were to do, like, a squiggle, it kind of still looks like a squiggle when you do it. Nice. Um, there was one guy that started doing these. I think he does some like abstract painting professionally um, during COVID. And he did a lot of different colors uh, and called it like it was like an inclusive something. Because uh, he said, and, and I just need super bright, fun, happy. Everyone loves each other. And I was like, you know what? That is a, a good concept because the way that he does it, it looks like people. Because the dots at the top turn into like heads. So it looks like a crowd of people. Neat. Very neat. Rachel's, Rachel's chanting, squeegee, squeegee. She's really excited. I asked her if she'd seen the puppy paw. Did she miss it? I don't know. That's why I just asked her. Oh, yes. We also just folded the page in half and squished it with our fingers. Found would love to do that. Only put the paint on one half. She would love that. She said, no, I just got on the live. I have yet to see the squeegee in action. So you won't see this squeegee in action, Rach, but look at this. Look at this. The it's so cute. Thing ever and it ruined it. No, I didn't ruin it. I'm fixing it's it. It's going to be okay. You're so mean to me. Oh, it's so cute. And even in person, like, the texture of the paint is it, amazing. It's, like, smooth in some areas, but more textured in others. It's really nice. Rachel said, what? She likes it. I'll make you one, Rach. It'll be the only colorful thing in your entire house. But I'm going to need it to be like right next to the TV so you see it all the time. Yeah. Or like right next to your bed. Oh, her bed for sure. Yeah. So it's the first thing she looks at in the morning. The last thing she yeah. looks at. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. a happy a happy spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've just got three more colors, guys. I know this is daunting. Like the last two things that I've done have been 5,000 color placements. Who Who am I right now? Well, you all thought I was an idiot when I started this because I liked color before people liked color. Now it's becoming trendy again, which means I have to go back to hating color. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. That will never happen. <laughs> I, I am going Rachel to Rachel say... wants hers on black and gray paints only. Too bad. <laughs> Actually, I think it would look cool in, in grays and blacks. Well, I'll try one of my extra ones here in a minute for you. Ranger, do you want to say hi to everyone? Since we have, um, do they want me to do the big one or do they just want me to do a small one? Just a small one so it takes, like with the different techniques? I'm going to let you know, Anna. Okay, thank you. These ladies oh, they like are to... never going to choose a thing the that will take out. less time. Okay, yeah. okay, guys. Mm -hmm. I yeah. just want to be respectful yeah. of your time and your wishes. So the more dots of paint, the better. The colors will fill the canvas. Is that true? Yes, yes. You're least are less likely to have um, white spots if if you fill the canvas. Now I'm going to be very mindful of uh, up at the top, like I wasn't last time, and we had to go back in. I mean, it, that actually turned out fine though, going back in with that that paintbrush. So it wasn't like it was an epic fail, but. Okay, I'm going to say that this is done. Okay, they're dying right now. Well, Rachel is dying. Why? Because she's impatient and wants to see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready, Rachel? Are you ready? Let's go to a commercial Close break. Close your eyes, Rachel. Let's go to a commercial break. Uh, I'll have to do it again. Okay, so... 
I guess the the issue is, and see, look at like this is dotted. So I don't love that as much. I'm gonna I'm gonna test a theory out, guys. Oh, you're gonna get to see firsthand. Oh, you're gonna put more dots on it. Yes. Okay. So do we need to get the dry or the heat no. gun? No heat gun. No, because it's down here. It's dry. Oh. How? Because that's, I think I squeegeed too hard down there. Oh. Okay. So. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Okay. Good morning, Maria. How are you? Rachel says it's stunning. It's going to be. I'm going to just try to kind of put them back where they were and just not press down quite as hard. Get rid of that white at the top. I'm going to. But, well. What, you want some white? No, I don't want any white. Do you want me to help you fill some? You can. I, th I think the key. Did you use this one or this one? Both. Is um, like having a, a quite a bit of paint on there. Like the more. The more there is like that, the, it's more that look of the first one. If you don't put a lot of paint on there, it looks like this dried and you see more of the, um, of the dot instead of the melting smear. of it. Yeah. The smear, smear, smear. Yes, I couldn't get that word. Whoa. I'm going to ruin it. If this is ruined, you know Anna's going to blame me, right? <laughs> They 100% know that. I'm kind of glad that they get to see what it does, though, when you push down too hard. So yeah. you think you pushed? Because up here wasn't too hard. This it is still smearing like no, it's supposed it's to. You push, I pushed down too hard down here. Did you use this color? Mm-hmm. It's hard to see. If this is terrible, then I'm going to end up, um... Well, you've already had one success, so this I know, is just I'll, a different... I'll just... This will be yours, Kat! <laughs> um, okay. Oh, oh, no. I'm so sorry, guys. She does not like the UPS driver. Ranger, no! no Stop no, it! No, no! Stop it! Stop it! Sorry. Sorry, guys. She's hiding. Hey, put her in the bathroom. She's terrible. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> You're never invited back, Granger. Never invited back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Let me wipe this off just a little bit more on the edge. She hates UPS. I'm just a FedEx fan, guys. I think she actually does that to FedEx, too. Okay, now take two. Much better. Did we even order anything from Amazon? There's two silicone mats. I don't even remember ordering these. Okay, so this is what happens when you go back over top with that. It like starts blending in. You wanted that, right? Not, not because I mean I just pushed back up, but this is I mean it's this is exactly how I did once. So but, what I would do is wipe that off and then just take the excess and pull it down again. Yeah, but it's still not going to be in one consecutive line. Oh, uh, this is good. This is good learning. Yes. That's why you get like one chance with it. But actually what I can do is once this dries a little bit, go back and dot back over and just pull right back over top of it. <laughs> what? She hasn't taken the, the vinyl off yet, Rachel. You have to be patient while watching people craft on YouTube. <laughs> is, who said that? What do you think? Cat? <laughs> <laughs> what did Rachel say? When you have time, I want to see if you can remove the goof on the other one with paper towels soaked in water. So I've already covered it in white paint. We'll see. They were wanting you to go back and do that? Um, Beth suggested that, yeah. Oh. 
Kat, Rachel says, I'm struggling. I'm not very patient. I'm, I know, but listen, this is, I'm trying not to make this too much of a train wreck, but I really want this to be perfect, guys. It's going to be good. It's still going to be good. I'm just going to fill this in down here. And hope for the best. Fingers crossed. And we'll have to go back in and... Why are you screaming? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> just embrace it. Okay. Let's problem solve here. I think I'm just gonna move on. Oh, no, I. I'm fixing this. You have to make that good. I'm trying. I'm trying. It just keeps taking that off. This is why I can't do crap. No, I think it looks fine. I think it looks fine. All that I would do is take a brush and just blend this with a brush. It's gonna be okay. But do it really carefully. I'm just gonna, just gonna get this off. I'm so sad. Yeah. Ew. It's a lot of paint. I know, you do waste a lot with this method, but Worth it. You're not a train wreck. There's that. Uh, we had a Top Golf place open up this weekend. Who all has been? Is it worth it? Should I go? I can't golf, but I do love things like that. Um, will I enjoy it? Let me know. When's the last time you went golfing? Oh, it's been a long time. Been a long time. Okay, so should I go ahead and take this off or should I wait until I fix it to take it off? What, what are the people saying? Like, I feel like I just want to take care of that corner again. Do it really quickly, go. Sorry, guys. They don't this, care. This is, uh, this is part of the troubleshooting. Like, if they get into theirs and theirs looks like this, you're showing them how to fix it. They want this. Oh, look at this. If you like to drink, you'll like it. I can't drink on my medicine. But I can have a fun time and not drink. Uh, it's very fun, but very expensive. Okay. How expensive is it? I heard it was like $20 for the lane and then $5 per person after that. $20 for the lane. Oh. <laughs> what? You have a big green dot of paint on your face. Okay. <laughs> Actually, two. What did you do? I don't know. No, three. <laughs> Let me see your face. <laughs> I can feel myself. Anna. <laughs> I'm excited about it. <laughs> All over your face. <laughs> <clears throat> A lot of drunks hitting a ball. I meant to do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the it's process. Part of the creative process. <laughs> My sons love top golf. I think I could do it even if I even though I hate golf. See, I think it would be fun too. Kat, you take that back. What'd she say? Learn from your sister. Never take it one step further. <gasps> <laughs> Penny said, usually I think less is more, but not in this case. Thank you, thank you. I'm not a golf fan at all, but it's so much fun just to whack a ball as hard as you can. <laughs> I agree, right? <laughs> is Rachel still wa watching or did she give up on me? I didn't see. Rachel, did you give up on me? Roma said, I thought graffiti was tough, but Anna, you got me beat. <laughs> is there, that? Romo, is there still a little bit of white at the very top? Crystal yes. Asked. yes. Yes, there is. Paint gets everywhere. It's just like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Nikki. <laughs> You get to hit the ball without walking the course, right? And I hate putting, like really hate putting. So I think my favorite part is driving it. The only sad part is that you don't get to drive a golf cart. I mean, can we just talk about the last time we went to a driving range? Oh God, her, Anna's. I'm terrible at it. I'm not, this is not an exaggeration. I'm not. I'm decently athletic too. Not exaggerating. She hits the ball, <laughs> and the 
freaking driver went further than her ball. <laughs> she threw the driver <laughs> accidentally when she was swinging and it went further than her ball. You know, it's kind of like after you bat and you got to get rid of your bat so you can run. It was that same concept she for me. She's going to run. Rach has not neglected you. She's still here for okay, you. Okay, Rach. Oh, I think it's going to be dry right there. <sighs> These people are patient. Okay, so now I have to go. Rach, do you want to go to Top Golf with, with us? Me and you and Anna. Just me and you and Anna. Girl. Maybe we'll let our guys go. I don't know about that. We'll let Charlie go. Yeah, Charlie can come. Still haven't seen him. He's like almost 18 years old now. and <laughs> He'll be moving out soon. I don't know. I'm going to have to get him a graduation <laughs> present soon. I've only seen him once. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to oh, see you ladies play some paintball. We are actually good at paintball. Like really good at paintball. I I haven't played in forever, but I love it. Okay, you've redeemed yourself. Praise Thank the Lord God. in heaven. Okay, Rach is in for top golf. Um, are we doing that instead of the the sisters? Sisters. Our movie nights oh. with the Sanderson sisters. Oh, you mean this weekend? I don't want to go this weekend because it just opened last week, and I think it'll oh, be it's a gonna be house. crazy. Yeah. We need to go like on a random Tuesday in the middle of the day. <laughs> Penny, I hit the ball once and it went behind me. In the interest of other people's well-being, I do not go. <laughs> <laughs> so, our sister-in-law, Fred's wife, is this teensy, tiny little Filipino girl, and she's so little. She's tiny, tiny, and she doesn't like to get tan. And so when we went, she literally would squat. I don't know if it's a it's Filipino a, It's a Filipino squat. In general, they can literally squat all the way down and the backs of their heels be on the ground. It's, it's crazy. My niece and nephew can both do it too. And um, anyway, so we were like, where's Michelle? And we look over and she squatted in the shadow of my brother's golf bag so that she didn't get sun. That was a solid 15 years ago and we still give her crap oh, no. about it. <laughs> Okay, now here's the trick is finding this thing. Do you think we should let this dry a little bit? I wouldn't. Oh, but you're going to need to be careful when you put that under because if you don't get it exact, you're going to slide paint underneath it when you go to move it. What are you talking about? Do you want to do this? I'm nervous. Sure, I'll do I it. got the sweaty hands. I'm turning to Rachel. You want me to do it so that if it gets ruined, it's my fault. Yes, because I've worked so hard on it. Finally, not a train wreck. It's right there. I know. Well, but I'm. Do you want me to come from both sides and we'll both pick up at the same time? I do not. Okay. Let's see here. 12P, open to 12P is $29 an hour. 12P to 5P is what? $39? Oh my gosh. Yay, Becca. Becca comes in and like saves me a lot, guys. A lot. Look how cute. Don't ruin it. Let's look at these two together. I'm almost there with the white. I put like, I don't know how many coats of white on it in this corner. But look at these two together. Uh, is this not adorable? Oh my gosh. So precious. I love so it. So there's some extra paint and stuff up there that I'm going to dab off. And then you're going to do the big one too? If they want it. They yes. do, I'm sure. Okay. You can let us know. If they don't want it, they'll leave. That's true. That is yeah. so true. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Baby Lammy is going to have such cute decor. Oh, okay. Look, Granger is ashamed of herself, I think. They love it. She needs to come and apologize to the peoples. Okay. Was Rachel impressed? I don't know. Okay, so this has become a huge train wreck here. Do we have another trash bag? For sure. Just put it all in there, though. Huh? Just put it all in that one. We need to take that one out anyway. Oh, you mean to put underneath? Yeah. I mean, these are getting really nasty. Um, why don't you just use a poster board? Okay. Does Kat want me to use the poster board? Do we even have it anymore? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not the good one. Okay. Here's our big canvases. Okay. 
what are they saying? Tape half a sheet and diagonal knot in the 45, but slightly over and do the same thing on one side to make a third matching one. Was I doing the big ones or the small ones for these? The small ones, so it doesn't take so long to dab. The design one. Do you want me to help you dab? Um, I'll just dab on this. Dab, dab, dab. Rachel said, oh, please, yes, more. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to put black on this one so you all can see. Um, Is the squat like the full M squat that's sort of like frog legs? So they're actually stand. It's, I don't know, I'll take a picture. It's so interesting. I'm Filipino and I'm not little, but I can also do the Filipino squat. Crystal, how do you all do it? It's like, it's like some weird, not weird, but it's like a superpower that your legs will, like, your tendons are non-existent, I think. <laughs> it's definitely a double-jointed thing, for sure. If you put a piece of paper towel under the bottom edge, might be easier to clean. Yes, Barbara, for sure. Oh, good thinking, Barbara. I will do that. Okay, now. Uh, Nanette says, so cute. The paws are my favorite. Nikki, baby lamey, yes, Anna and Marky are... Uh, I'm not pregnant, even though it looks like I am. They are uh, We're gonna starting foster the foster to adopt. to adopt process, yeah. Um, ah, look at <laughs> Jen, you did miss a lot of fun, but Anna's still making another one, so you have another... This is a... I've never quite seen this process. It kind of stresses me out. Um, this one? yeah. But Anna's doing a different method here. Kids' handprints would be cute, get, or Penny. Um, we had a golf outing for tour, and I did the Happy Gilmore tee off. Anna would just miss it all together. <laughs> oh, that's true. It's so true. Uh, da -da -da -da. My paints are running dry. Can't imagine why. All you are emptying those paints. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Sorry. Not empty. They're just not flowing as good See as. See right. She said, "I'm getting car sick watching you guys. I'm piecing out. Love you all." I'd throw up for you, Rach. <laughs> I'm a true friend. Crystal said, my hubby always says, I don't understand how you have not fallen over. Crystal, our <laughs> our sister-in-law makes lumpia for us, and she, of course she puts it in a fryer, and she'll just <laughs> sit there in that squat making lumpia, and I'm like, I, how? We're not talking for just a few minutes. Like She also makes those fried banana things that I love. It's just like banana with brown sugar and butter, and you put it in an egg roll wrapper and deep fry it and then put caramel over the top of it. Oh, it's heaven. I normally don't love fried food, but I love both of those things. It just doesn't, I guess because it's got a banana, it tastes healthy. <laughs> I really think it tastes healthy. <laughs> yeah, it tastes healthy. No, because if it tastes healthy, I wouldn't want it. Okay. I'm not going to try to get it up at the top on this one. So, designs. You could probably even try to do people. I may do a person here in a second and show you all what that looks like. We got an extra one. Okay. Okay. Have you tried different direction pulls? Okay, so that actually didn't do anything, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I promise you all. I think it's because I didn't push down hard enough. I, <laughs> look how pretty it is. I do like it a lot. I like that the dark strips in it. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's gorgeous. Okay, so uh, we're going on to number two because I'm going to show you all. I'm going to push down on the next one. Well, though. but is there another, another one? I've got two huge ones. Wow. Well, because I think a I, I want you to do like the different people like pushing down, but I think one like zigzagging the pole or something would be really neat too. That's kind of what I did on. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. 
You want me to zigzag the, uh, let me zigzag the pull on the long one. You want to start dotting it while I do sure. this. Sure. Turon, 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 Turon. Help me out, Crystal. Look how pretty this even is, though, Becca. It is beautiful. That's a lot of wasted paint. A dessert banana egg roll is what she said. She said it's basically a, a dessert. Oh, so good. It's so amazing. If you all have never tried one, make a Filipino friend. And ask them to cook you all the good things. And ask them for it. So yummy. Pan I'm saying it wrong. P-A-N-S-I-T. Pancit. Is that how you? Pancit. I love it. It's, it's a noodly, remember. yummy heaven that Michelle makes for I'm telling you. Oh, it's so good. Okay. We're going to do practically the same thing on this one that I'm going to push down harder. And you're going to see. Oh, hopefully you're supposed to see the design. I did really love that black in there, so I'm going to do that again. Was it black? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm just asking. I'm going to start this one. I want a lot of white up here. Yeah, do that. And then I'm going to start so that it's like. That sounds good. You all are going to be like, Becca, you are a painter. <laughs> yes. Don't ever say that again. Bring on the food talk. Do we have anything good this weekend? Oh my I'm gosh. on Ozempic. I don't need anything good anymore because it makes me ridiculously sick. Well, and guys, I go and start with a nutritionist tomorrow, so it's going to be like grilled chicken and rice for me from now on. Right now, I'm eating almonds, Greek yogurt, and vegetables and protein because everything else makes me sick. Um. Anyway, so yesterday we stopped on the way to church and got, there's this local place called Need Donuts, and they have these homemade, they're what, two, three inches, three, three inches crescent rolls that are um, full of like a cream cheese whip. Oh, this is terrible. And... Um, Anyway, and then they have fresh strawberries and powdered sugar on the top. Oh my goodness, guys. We're talking heaven. And I think it's I've never had one. What? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. They're so 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 good. But I think it's I love it because um where I have the gluten intolerance stuff, like um a lot of stuff makes my stomach hurt, but for whatever reason the lighter um Crescent doesn't doesn't hurt my belly quite as bad as like a donut. Ooh, look at those. Well, that's, You're gonna be amazed. I hope I am. Becca. Hmm. I hope I am. Okay, here we go. I have to get some new paints out. We're gonna have to get a whole new set of I these. I know we need to find out where Julie got these because I do love them. I think they're from Hobby Lobby. J well, this is a lot of paint. <laughs> I know. I would probably, for this technique, not invest in anything like super expensive. You took all the pretty ones off this set. But they oh. still look like they're pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're going to be fake from now on, guys. Give me that purpley one. This one? Yeah. Well, these haven't even ever been opened. I know. And I've still used them all. Oh, 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 okay. Did you eat anything? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so uh, Mark's brother, Jared, smokes a lot of meat. And um, he found, there's this brand of seasoning called Meat Church. If you all. That's what Fred uses, yes, too. It's phenomenal. You really need to get on it and look it up. They've got some amazing combinations. Anyway, they had. Um, They'll have recipes that they'll come on and tell you about. And there was one that was like a manicotti noodle that was stuffed with, is it sausage? And then you wrap it in bacon and put like a honey barbecue glaze over top of it. It was phenomenal. He made those last night. Um, and I'm not a huge meat eater and they were amazing. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is done. 
Okay, now, this is going to be a lot of pressure, and you'll be able to hope, hopefully see the design better. Nope, just kidding. It doesn't work. That's ugly. Where did you see that it worked? Uh, on, on like, tons of them. That's terrible. Those colors are hideous. That's ridiculous. You can just barely well, see I'm gonna it. I'm going to do mine. I don't want you to ruin it. Okay. Do you want me to go produce? No. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to put this color in and I'm then gonna I'm going to do it. I'm going to trash this one. That's nasty. Yuck. That's terrible. It's atrocious. Okay, so you can paint all you want in it and it really doesn't matter. No, I'm telling you, the other people, it totally did. I wonder if it's because I have too much paint up above it. You know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? Vern. All right, I'm I'm ready. Let me get your squeegee ready. Oh, I feel like maybe I don't have enough paint on here. Yeah, it's probably gonna work. Okay, so I'm doing a. Am I doing a a thingy like this? Like, is that what y'all want? They wanted like a. You want different strokes? I mean, I've got another one. I can show them different strokes. Or we can just. Just do different strokes with this one. I will. I have an idea. Okay, here you go. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Give me a paper towel. You're going to use like six rolls of paper towels, unless you have a utility sink close by. Oh, did you get that clean enough? Becca, this may actually be a good idea. <gasps> yes, Santa, yes. Yes. This is actually going to be beautiful. So Becca can squeegee paint. She just can't do any other. It's, I don't know, Becca, I'm sorry. Don't get that up there. Just make sure it's clean. Anna loves to micromanage helicopter me. Well, I just want you to be your best painter. <laughs> yeah. I want you to be the best painter you can be. Okay. I'd probably still do the, the other end. <laughs> but it's going to hit this if okay. I do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got a better idea. Hold this. You guys, oh, just get something little. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Here's another use for your all's, what are those called? Scrapers. It's a squeegee. Look at that. So that's your different, uh, do they want me to zigzag? You're going to ruin it if you zigzag no, not it. No, not that one. Oh. Okay. There's Becca's, guys. It actually is pretty. It's not a lot of what space, but you could do some wording or something. Less is more, Anna. Oh, oh that's what I've been told. <laughs> Definitely what I've been told. Oh, we, I mean, this is still going to need 64 coats of white on that edge that I I'm getting up. there. Did okay, you guys. Touch it? Did you touch it? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't put any color on it. Okay. It's still good. Okay. She, Nikki made sorbet. Dollar Tree... Is it ac has acrylic paints. Ooh, that's have we have we looked at those? I haven't. Mm -mm. I definitely grew up on watching Ernest. Yes, we also have his commercials. Love those colors, Becca. Did we we watch some Ernest goes to jail? Mm -hmm. Ernest goes to camp. Yeah. I forgot about those. I did too. What was that guy's name? I have no idea. Becca, they think yours is beautiful. Thank you. Looks good. Thank you. That, that is it. I mean, we've got another canvas if y'all wants to try anything. Clearly, um, the zigzag <clears throat> stuff doesn't work because I put way too much paint on there. But um, I'll do whatever y'all want me to. Oh, Granger, you guys say hi? Come here. Amazon has a 36 color pack of Master's Touch Acrylic for $42. That's pretty good, I think, price-wise. Yeah, I think so too, Beth. That's a great. Come and it gives you a here. lot of colors. Come here. Are you a show? Are you sorry? Mm -hmm. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, wait. Hold on. G range. Hi, Gwen. Say hi, guys. Sorry about barking earlier. 
She's I not just sorry. don't like the UPS guy. <laughs> She's sweet girl. Okay. Anyway, which is your favorite? Do you like the um, void canvases? Like the nose and the paw prints? Or do you like just like the full-fledged color? Are you going to make one? These are so stinking cute. I'm going to have to take a picture of the two of them together. You can also go ahead and let it completely dry and then probably do um, like vinyl or HTV over top of it if you wanted words or something like that to layer it up. Um, Renee, yeah, there, there are so many different possibilities. Oh my goodness. It, you could, so many different things you could do paint wise and color scheme wise. Uh, it's a really fun technique. It's sort of therapeutic. Do you guys ever watch like TikToks and things like that, that are like painting things or like hacks for things or anything like that? I feel like this is one of those TikToks or reels that I would just watch over and over again. Cause it's sort of calming. Like uh -huh. if we just did one that was that and yeah, I think it would be. Anyway, you all are amazing. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for sitting through uh, me fixing that one 42 times and me screaming and my dog barking. How textured is the paint after it dries? Not. It's uh, pretty flat, isn't it? Yeah. It's, I don't know if you can see anything, but no, it's, it's flat. What are you Completely eating, flat. Granger? What is she eating? I don't know. Come here. Her's a good girl. You'll come here. <laughs> Why does it in your mouth? She just found a little treat. Did you find a dog? Well, there are dog treats. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Remember Anna's big one looks like Easter. The other one's paw and nose looks so different that it works for other things. Yes. Um, remember to like the video, Renee says. I want to try words when the paint and, re and remove the vinyl. Yes, Maria. Yeah. Um, Super fun. I really like this. It was totally different. Very easy. Look, like, look how many pieces of art we have in an hour. Yeah. Super fun. And I'm going to tell you, I 100% I encourage you to use the darker colors because this in person, the cut, yeah, it is gorgeous. The dark color in there looks really nice. There. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, last time, um, if you guys want to join, grab the link that I am giving you right now. Oh, that's not it. That's the cutie I pray book. Uh, get that too yes <laughs> use this link this is a link for the annual oak and lamb membership which is 199 dollars per year um it's billed automatically for you all so that alone is a discounted rate but if you use the code 35 off 35 off then you can get 35 dollars off that rate and craft with us for an entire year so grab that if you want to join us and get lots of other crafty ideas Yes. Um, we will be live tomorrow. Live schedule this week is a little bit different. Rachel will be out. Her hubby's having a tonsillectomy. Um, so tomorrow we'll be live and then, um, Friday will be live. So tomorrow's is at 10 30 AM Eastern. Friday's is at 7 PM Eastern. So we're going to be doing an evening one. I think I could come to that. Yes. We'll be doing an evening one. So I, it, who's doing that one? Um, me. Oh, so I'll come. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'll produce, guys. Found to be a good time. Yeah. Or Wayne or Rachel. I don't care. We can have a whole party. Um, but anyway, so pay attention to those change-ups this week. And thank you for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, if you make a painting like this, make sure you post a picture in the private Facebook group because we want to see it. Yes. And if you all figure out the technique where you can actually see the design, actually go and um, Google search, Pinterest search, anything squeegee painting, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I just couldn't make it happen. So if you can make it happen, Send me a video and bragging rights. No, for sure. Tag her in it. Yeah, please do. Yeah. I'm better than you, Anna. And I'll, I'll say yes, you are. <laughs> we'll see you all later. Thanks, guys.